to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my youtube channel and then for following me on all of my various social media platform i appreciate it i actually don't take it for granted so thank you so much so if you are new to my channel if you have not subscribed already i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button on the side and then also hit on the bell to get an update whenever i upload a new video you are going to be among the first person that's actually going to see it okay so you can also follow me on facebook at stylish niger instagram at stylish niger and then pinterest also at stylish niger all of these three platforms i normally drop notifications of my videos so in case you miss out any notification on youtube you can get them on instagram facebook and then on pinterest all at stylish niger okay guys so today i'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and stitch a cold shoulder balloon sleeve top so you could see the picture up here it's, it's going to be a very quick tutorial our emphasis is going to be on the neckline and then the sleeve part so I'm going to show you how to actually do this right now. So I have, um, I've cut out, laid out two fabric, which I've already drafted already. So for this, this kind of top, the easiest um, pattern for you to use, like I normally say, it's always good for you to learn different types of pattern because when you see a style, you are going to know, okay, I'm going to make use of this pattern. This pattern will fit better. So for this, I'm going to be making use of the princess dart pattern. So the last okay let me say the video before the last video that i actually dropped which is the six pieces flay gown actually you did a a princess on that pattern i did it from scratch so i'm going to drop the description i'm going to drop the link on the description box and then on the comment section so if, if you don't know how to do a princess that all you are going to do you're just going to watch that video and then you'll be able to do it so i've already um, marked it out here that's what i'm going to do now and then if you want to register for my online classes so you see my number scrolling through the screen all you have to do is just send me a message on whatsapp and then i'll send you the course outline for the different classes that i actually have available so you can choose and then you know which of the classes to register for so guys let's just get started so what i'm going to do now i'm going to cut cut out my piece so like i said i already did this before so i'll drop the link on the description box so i'll cut it out now and then we're going to go ahead and then do the the neckline and then the sleeve so let me just do that right now so for the back piece This is for my back piece and then for the front piece okay so i have all of my piece now so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to go and stitch them i'm just going to take it to my machine and then i'll stitch i'll stitch it back so i've cut out the dots right now so i'm going to go and stitch them and then come back and cut out the neckline for you to see okay guys so you can see i finished teaching so this is the back piece and then this is the front piece so in cutting out this kind of neckline here's what you are going to do you're going to fold your fabric into two so the first thing we're going to do we're going to cut out if you notice the top part it actually has a high round neckline so we're going to, you're just going to place both the front piece like this and then the back the same then we can you can actually decide to deepen the front a little bit and like this and then for that top neckline well, you're going to measure about three inches so it's about three inches width and then the depth so you make sure it's well placed so the depth of that part so the depth also we're going to use about three or two point five inches. That's okay. Okay, let me use. I'm going to use two inches or two point five. You can use three depends on how deep you want it to be. So for this, this is going to be for the uh, front, and then for the back, 
I'm going to uh, reduce the back on so the, the front and um, piece is two inches so the the back I'm going to use about 1.5 inches so I'm just going to cut it like this so I'll cut out the back neckline first that's the round neckline on the center that's the top and then I'm going to cut out the front neckline okay so we've cut out both the back and the front neckline the next thing we're going to do now we're going to add that cold shoulder from the shoulder so here is what you are going to do in doing that you are going to measure depending on how wide you actually want that small little piece on the shoulder to be that is what you are going to use okay so you are going to measure your two inches and then remember you are going to come to the chest line part and then you are going to measure how wide you actually want that part to be just before your bust point depends on how wide you want it to be so for this part now i'm going to make it about eight inches so it's going to be about eight inches so from this point now you are going to measure where you actually want the cold shoulder to slant into so i'm just going to bring it to towards the top part just a little bit um, below my um what do you call it the princess and seam that's the princess that so this is five inches so i'm going to mark this five inches here so this is where i'm going to slant it to so this part is where i'm going to connect the sleeve i'm just going to bring it this part is where we're going to connect the sleeve so for this part you're going to measure so for this part we're using about i'm using about 4.5 inches that's around the chest line point and then that's from this point to this point 4.5 and then from this point five inches so the next thing you are going to do now, you are going to take your, your ruler, depends on what you want. If you want a curve, you can just create a curve like this. If you want, like the one we have there, it's just something like a, a sharp, a straight part like this. And then on this part, and then when you get to this part, you are just going to cut it in like this. So it depends on what you actually want. You can curve it, you can actually curve it, you can, any style you actually want to do. To it you can do it so we're going to cut both the back and the front together so here is what we're going to have so this part is a little bit sharp but i'm not going to make it sharp so it's just going to come sharp like this and then i'm going to curve it in like this so i just want i just want you to understand what i'm trying to do so okay i think it's better this way so we're just coming like a curve like this like this like this and then we're going to come this way like this into the armhole point so we have this and then this so it's not really straight so i just want you to take note so this part now we're going to cut like this with something like a slight curve and then this part we're going to cut like this so I'm going to open it up and check if I don't like it I can trim it okay so you see what I have it's not really looking too neat and straight so I'm going to like straighten it a little bit I'm going to straighten it more so that's why I just cut it a little bit above first so I'm going to place like this I'll just pin because of the satin it is a little bit shaky so I'll just pin like this and then I'm going to straighten it out nicely now. So I'm really not touching this armhole part, remember. I'm really not dealing with this armhole part. So here's where my emphasis is. So now my armhole, I'm going to, I'm going to measure my shoulder, sorry, I'm going to measure my bust and then that's my bust measurement and then from this point, so you remember, you know we used 5 inches, so from this 5 inches you are going to shape out your armhole properly, you know we used 5 inches for this drop, 
you are going to shape out your armhole nicely like this so this is where we're going to connect our sleeve okay so i'm going to open up now and then i'm going to see what i have so you see the way the front is looking now so like i said depends on how depends on what you want you can give it any shape you actually want so i'm just trying to trim trim my armhole nicely so so this is the front piece now the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going so this is the back piece so you should cut both of them together the next thing i'm going to show you how to achieve the sleeve part okay guys so here is my off shoulder pattern so for the sleeve you are going to cut it like an off shoulder so i just want to show you before i use the balloon sleeve to illustrate to you so this is the armhole part this is the that part that is on the chest line point so here is how the off shoulder um, sleeve is going to sit so this part you are this is going to be your round sleeve measurement and then you are just going to fix it from this point like this from this point like this to those points to your arm to, to under of the armpit so that's how you are going to fix and then at the end of the day you see you have this curve like this on your sleeve so now i'm going to use a balloon sleeve to illustrate this so i already have a video of a balloon sleeve on my channel so i'm going to drop the link on the description box in case you don't know how to cut a balloon sleeve the only difference between what i have on the channel and this one that is on the picture is a regular um, balloon sleeve but it has like a bow here so all you are going to do is you after um, creating out your balloon sleeve you are just going to fold cut out a long stretch of fabric and then you can you can just decide to sew it the normal way and in case because if you don't want um somebody to be tying and then untying you can just create like that bow and then you are just going to place it on top of the sleeve so you can place it on top so at the end of the day you are just going to tie it but it is actually not tied around or you can create a band you can actually create a band on this part instead of using a an elastic you just create a band and then place it in so i'll drop the, the sleeve the the video link on the description box so for this now if you are going to be using the off shoulder pattern here is how it's going to be you're just going to take so i'm just trying to illustrate it so here's what you are going to do now you know we we'll actually use about five inches so you are going to measure from this point you are going to measure your round sleeve measurement so for instance my round sleeve measurement is 10 inches so you see where 10 inches is stopping i'm just going to mark this point like this that's that is about 10 inches so what i'm going to do now on this part here is how it's going to look like from this point to this point so all i'm going to do i'm just going to cut out this part in case you don't know how to cut an off shoulder sleeve this is another very simple way you just cut your regular sleeve and then you cut out the top part to just make sure you measure your armhole and then cut out the remaining part and then you get your off shoulder sleeve so here's what i'm going to do i'm just going to cut this part off like this it is really simple so you see it is looking like what i showed you initially our off shoulder sleeve that i showed you see that top part so what you are going to do just make sure that this part is your round sleeve measurement and then here is what we are going to do so this part now i'm just going to take this like this and then i'm going to place it here and then i would use this um this armpit let me say arm hold rather measurement i'll just mark it out like this and then here is how it's going to look like so i'm just going to take it now so when i want to stitch you just make sure that this part is your measurement and then you stitch like this so at the end of the day here is what you are going to have so i have my allowance so i'll just fold it in so it's, it's so you understand more so it's just going to sit like this so you see at the end of the day you are going to have this sharp square like curve so if you want a round you can make it round so it depends on what you actually want so guys this is how you actually cut this uh what did i name, name it again <laughs> this is how you actually cut this off cold shoulder balloon sleeve top so most times we need to give our our videos a title so you just come up with something that looks like what you did 
okay so especially for styles that we actually don't know the names so you just so thank you so much if you find this video helpful i will appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what i did and if you have not subscribed please subscribe thank you so much i'll see you in my next video god bless you and have a blessed day so the back and the front they are going to connect the same way so this is the back so you see so this is the back part so that's how it's going to sit let me lap the zipper allowance so you see how it is looking so beautiful now that the back piece came came in you see how it is looking so beautiful so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video god bless you have a blessed day